In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding values of trigonometric functions given information about an angle, problem type 2. In this example, we're told that theta is in quadrant 2 and that the sine of theta is 15 over 17, and we're asked to find the secant of theta and the tangent of theta. So I'll start with the fact that theta is in quadrant 2 by sketching our unit circle. And if theta is in quadrant 2 and the sine of theta is 15 seventeenths, so our y value is 15 seventeenths, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find our x value because I know the radius of the unit circle is 1. So in this triangle, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that 15 seventeenths squared plus x squared will equal 1. So 225 over 289 plus x squared equals 1. Subtracting that term over to the left-hand side, I can see that x squared will be 1 minus 225 over 289, getting a common denominator here. The 1 can be written as 289 over 289 minus that 225 over 289. We have x squared equals 289 minus 225 is 64 over 289. Solving for x by taking the square root of both sides, we recall that this gives us x, but it also means we have a plus or minus. The square root of 64 is 8, and the square root of 289 is 17. And to determine whether we're going to use the positive or the negative, we look back and see that we're in quadrant 2. So our x value here is negative. x will be a negative 8 over 17. And x is our cosine. So the cosine of theta is negative 8 over 17. We were given our sine of theta as 15 over 17. And now that we have sine and cosine, we can find any of the remaining trig functions. And we were asked for secant. And we know that the secant of theta is 1 over the cosine. So the reciprocal of the cosine, since the cosine is negative 8 seventeenths, the secant will be negative 17 eighths. So negative 17 eighths is our secant. And then tangent of theta. We know that the tangent of theta will be the sine of theta over the cosine of theta. And we know the sine value and the cosine value substituting in. 15 seventeenths over a negative 8 seventeenths would be the same as 15 seventeenths times the reciprocal of that denominator, negative 17 eighths. From here with canceling, I have the tangent of theta is a negative 15 in the numerator and 8 in the denominator. So negative 15 eighths is our tangent of theta, and we have found both tangent and secant. 